everyone, today I'm going to do a quick, quick review of the NYC or New York Color um, Expert Last Lip Color in Forever Fuchsia. Isn't this packaging adorable? I'm loving it. I'm wearing it on my lips right now and at the end of this video I'm going to show you a live lip swatch because some of you have been asking me if I could do that and I'm going to try to start doing it but I made sure to include one in this one. I'm sorry the rest of my face looks like I'm like, uh, um, I'm really sick right now and I didn't put on anything on my face besides this lipstick, so uh, bear with me. Now let's talk about this lipstick. Um, few things, uh, I love the packaging, except for the fact that the lipstick does not go all the way down and you increase your chances of nicking it when you open it and when you close it. Unless you're really, really slow, you can nick the sides. So. Nah. But um, there is a slight scent. It's kind of, hmm, it's kind of like confectionery, but it's a little bit sweeter, more perfumey. I don't particularly like it. But the good thing is, you only really smell it when you first apply it, and for that first, say, 30 seconds. After that, the smell pretty much diminishes. Another thing I like about it, for a drugstore lipstick, that's worth I think a dollar and change. Hold on. This lipstick is goes for $1.99, so it's really, really comparable to your Wet n Wild prices, your Mega Last Wet n Wild prices, and I like that it really, really performs well. I have had a negative view on a lot of uh, drugstore lipsticks where they look beautiful in the tube and then you go to apply them to your lips and they're extremely sheer or underpigmented. This is really, really pigmented, really, really rich. I'm going to do a swatch on the hand too. So this is one swipe on the hand. As you can see, great. Um, you can layer it on and it doesn't feel heavy. It's extremely, extremely opaque. The color payoff is true to the two. Um, I would say it kind of looks like it can become a matte. What do I mean by that? I mean that when you first put it on, it's going to have a little bit of shine to it, as you can see, but it's definitely not glossy. It's definitely not like creamy. It's more like a satin, if I can compare it to anything. If you think of like MAC lipsticks, it's kind of like a satin, but after a certain amount of wear time, it starts to dull a little bit, or if you blot your lips, you can have a matte lipstick, which is great. Um, because it feels light, you can layer your glosses on, and it's not going to feel too heavy. Because it's not too creamy and glossy, um, also it's not going to be slipping and sliding all over your lips. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't feather, it doesn't settle into the fine lines of lips. It really just sits on top of your lips, so it's going to transfer. But it's definitely a very comfortable lipstick to wear, especially for its finish. It's not drying, it's not terribly moisturizing, but it's definitely one of those lipsticks that for $1.99, you're treating yourself to a beautiful color, especially if you pick up this one. I love this one. Um, you're definitely treating yourself to a really pretty color pop of color, whether you're picking up this one or any of the other ones, and you're definitely going to get a decent amount of wear time. I got about, I don't know, two to three hours of wear, but for a $2 lipstick, that's pretty good, depending on what I was doing. If you're eating a lot, you're going to be on the lower end, but you can potentially make this last up to like four or five hours if you just limit what you're doing with your mouth. What do I mean by that? I mean if you're eating, and I say this all the time if you watch my videos, if you're eating like sloppy foods, like a burrito, a hamburger, something with a lot of grease on it, your product is not going to last as long on your lips. But if you're drinking coffee, you're being very delicate with what you're eating, you're using a fork, you know, you're eating something that's not too greasy per se, your lipstick's gonna last a lot longer. And this is same for the, this is very true for this. So an affordable, bright, highly pigmented, well-performing lipstick. I think New York Color did a great job on this lipstick. And again, that's the Expert Last Lip Color New York, uh, New York by New York Color. Um, I think the Expert Last, that's a little bit deceiving. Um, the little info card, because I did get this complimentary from Influencer for reviewing and testing purposes. Um, according to the little card, it's saying that you're supposed to get it to last up to six hours. I'm being real with you guys, five hours maximum, but that's still really good, and like I said, anywhere from like three to four to five, really depends on what you're doing. Um, six hours is a little bit of a stretch, but it's definitely, it's close to that, and for two dollars, again, you can't, you can't be mad at, at five hours of wear for a two dollar lipstick. I mean, some Revlons that are like nine dollars in New York City don't even get that much wear, though I do, I do like Revlon. I mean, I like all the other brands, but some drugstore brands, you pay more for them, you necessarily don't get long wear. So guys, check this out. It's available in drugstores for $1.99.
Um, you can find them online at New York City, New, New, NYC New York Color. That's at their Twitter. Um, they also have a Facebook, Facebook.com, New York Color Cosmetics. Um, so I'm impressed and I hope you enjoyed the picture swatches and the live swatch demo. Thank you so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram. I'm a Cycled Stardust.